Hi, welcome to uh, Patong, uh, Phuket, Thailand. It's uh, 2 15 p.m. Uh, Tuesday. We are here at the uh, Nanai apartment looking down. Down there is the uh, street down there, Karon Beach and Kata Beach. And then down there is the uh, city of Patong. And then they have the beach down there, Patong Beach. And on the left over there, they have Paradise Beach and um, Tri Trung Beach over there. And then Freedom on the other side. And, uh, Marlin Beach, and then down here is the city of Patong, and then that Royal Paradise Hotel and Spa. We used to stay there, and then down there is the Kali Beach down there, and Kamala Beach. So, this is the city of Patong down here. Down there is uh, the road down there is Sai Namian Road, take you all the way down to the beach, and then on this side, on the other side over there is uh, Banzan Road, take you down to uh, uh, Soi San Sabai, all the way to Bangla Road down there. So we're going to walk around, check out the uh, the city of Patong. There's a lot of uh, rentals here, pretty cheap rentals here. You can get one for about 8,000 baht or 10,000 baht. Uh, this one is really nice uh, place, so it's like 12,000 baht. We got a little place, you can cook your foods and all that. So really nice room. The only thing is you have to pay your power bill, but uh, pretty cheap. So you don't use a lot of power, it's no big deal. About uh, eight... Uh, 8 baht per, per, per kilowatt, so it's okay. And then they have really nice uh, bathroom and all that, so really nice, really best view. You got a city box and everything here, so so let's go uh, walking around, check out the city of uh, of uh, Patang. So, it's a uh, seventh floor, and then down here is Nanai Road, down the, at the bottom down there is Nanai Road, so that's side Namjan Road, Nanai Road, down this way. So this, uh, this is the uh, meter. The power meter, so every kilowatt is a, a one a, a baht, a baht, and then uh, twenty baht for water. So uh, for for unit. So down there is the um, uh, Nanai Road, and they have a uh, rock elegant hotel over there. They have big hotel, and so have a lot of cheap rooms here. So uh, you can spend about uh, maybe uh, two fifty to three hundred dollars. They have a very nice room here, so. Across they have guest houses over there also. So yeah, very well. Phuket is uh, generally really cheap to live. Patong is a little more expensive than the other places in Phuket. So, so here they have the uh, parking. You have cars and motorbikes, and they have a little uh, library here. And then down here is the uh, apartment. That's the parking down there. So really nice place. Pretty good view. And then uh, this is the office down here. <laughs> yep. Sorry, Cap, good to see you. It's called a Misuk place, so you need a place to stay. They have really good rooms there. Uh. They have 8,000 baht, 10,000 baht, and 12,000 baht. So down there is the Nai Road, 7 Eleven over there. And then uh, Sainam Yan Road down there. So we head this way. Uh, check out the uh, super cheap uh, uh, supermarket. I bought a little uh, fan here to save some power bill but uh, because usually uh, you use uh, the fan you don't need the AC here it's really cool here anyway you have uh, the wind blowing all day so but uh, it doesn't work so I gotta replace hopefully they let you return because uh, in Asia they don't have like uh, rules like in America you can change within 30 days come time you buy it and that's it you know so you gotta be careful that's why uh, before I always hook it up but uh, this is a supermarket, so they don't have a place for you to test it. The best place to buy is a Big C's uh, Extra. They have all the testing places. So before you buy anything in uh, Asia, make sure you hook it up, make sure it works. Because when you leave the door, sometimes they don't let you return it. Hopefully they let me return it. If not, I just uh, buy a new one. It's only like a few bucks. About 10 bucks, like that. So 5 bucks, 10 bucks. A lot of tourists. When uh, motorbike is really cheap, about 200 baht, 
some place even have 150 baht here so per day yeah, pretty cheap look here they have all kind of hotel and down here they have all the bars like that really nice relaxing up here uh, just uh, you can walk about 10 minutes that way is the beat so about 15 10 minutes so save you a lot of money living up here Hotel on uh, the beach, probably charge you like $50 or $40 a night. Up here you can uh, get a room for a whole month for like about $300, you know. For a really good price, three or $400, depends on how big the place. And how, how big the views you have. So down here they have all kinds of street foods down here, so. Really cheap uh, food too. A lot of uh, good food down here. You can get a meal for like 50, 60 baht. Yeah. So they have all the kind of guest houses here. And they have bars at the bottom restaurant. Really convenient, you know. And here they have all the bars. So really, really relaxing up here. And really cheap up here to live, so. A lot of uh, tourists and expats living here, visiting here for a long time. A lot of people who work uh, online like that. A lot of stores everywhere. And then down there 7-Eleven. So even easy to buy stuff. They open 24 hours. So they have town homes. So it depends on your budget. They get a little bit for everybody here. So 7-Eleven. ATM, everything open 24 hours, and then uh, all kind of uh, shops, uh, barber shop, everything, massage. Food, so you can have a good meal for like a few dollars. Barbecue, street food everywhere. But they have a delivery service, also the Thailand Post. Okay. The Thailand Post. Over there, super cheap. So I'm gonna try. Hopefully, I can return the fan. If not, I buy a new one. No big deal. Pretty soy. So we were at it. We got a postal service delivery package. And then uh, down there is a uh, uh, Soi Banzan Road right there to the right over there. This is Nanai Road. 